Electrophilic addition is one of the reaction mechanisms that you may have to draw in the exam. The first stage of electrophilic addition um, of bromine is that the, the bromine molecule approaches the double bond and it is polarized because this is, has a negative charge and it repels the electrons in this, so this becomes a delta positive and this becomes a delta negative. You'll also have to add curly arrows to show the movement of electrons from the electron pairs from the double bond into the top bromine and movement of electron pairs from the bond into the lower bromine. Now because this bromine has a delta negative charge, the bond splits heterolytically and this bonds with the carbon breaking the double bond. This is the second stage which you'll have to draw. Um, this is after the bromine's bonded with the carbon, leaving a single bond and this you need to label as a carbocation, which means it has a positive charge. You also need to draw the electron, the lone pair of electrons on the bromine ion and show the movement of the electrons from this into the carbocation. And then you draw the final product. And you'll have to know the fact that the bond splits homolytically and where the curly arrows go. You may also be asked to draw the electrophilic addition of hydrogen bromide. Um, in this, the molecule is already polar because the hydrogen atom is less electronegative than bromine, so a dipole occurs there. So you don't have to mention that electron repulsion takes place. Um, the curly arrows are still the same. The electrons move from here and the hydrogen and from the bond of the bromine. And then at this stage, it's exactly the same as the addition of bromine as the hydrogen is bonded. And forms. You're also expected to know that a mixture of isomers are formed, that's because as it adds over, actually, no, in some molecules longer than this, you may be expected to do, to know the isomers. For example, if this was, if this was um, propane, propene, it was added over, the HBr could bond like that, or alternatively, it could bond like this. These are two separate isomers. One, this one is one bromopropane, and if it was in the other place, it'd be two bromopro, two bromopropane, two bromopropane. Nucleophilic substitution is a type of substitution reaction in which a nucleophile is attracted to an electron deficient center or atom, where it donates a pair of electrons to form a new covalent bond. An example of a nucleophilic addition reaction is the addition of, hydro of aqueous hydroxide ions onto chloropropane. Um, it's worth note. well, it's not worth noting, it's definitely worth noting that the hydroxide ion has a lone pair of electrons. It's also necessary that you know that chlorine's more electronegative than carbon, so this is a delta negative. And this is a delta positive for control. Delta's right. This delta po positive signifies that this is an area of electron deficiency. So the oh wait, the hydroxide ion donates its pair of electrons here to form a new covalent bond, which causes this chlorine to break to break heterolytically, forming propanol and chlorine minus ion. Bond enthalpy increases up the halogens, so fluorine has the highest bond enthalpy and iodine has a lower bond enthalpy. This means that the rate of hydrolysis, which is this reaction, decreases, increases as you go down the, the halogens. So iodine hydrolyzes the fastest and chlorine hydrolyzes the fluorine hy hydrolyzes the slowest. Of course anything below iodine will react faster still.